Welcome back guys, my name is Toby from TBM Reviews and this right here is a 2016 BMW M4 GTS review. First and foremost, a huge, huge thanks and shout out to Alfred Romeo of Dallas right here in Dallas, Texas. This car, it looks very, very striking. For this review, I'm gonna start from the exterior, talk about the interior, some quirks and features that I found interesting in this car, and then I'm gonna get let's get this car on the road. I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna talk about the handling, braking, the power, power delivery, miles per gallon, overall the cool factor, and if it's a practical daily or not. So stay tuned, guys. All right, starting from the exterior of the BMW M4 GTS, guys, just look at it. It's so gorgeous, especially in this gray color. I love the gray contrast with the brakes with this the and then and the wheels as well it just works all together who does this it's crazy um so let's start from the front the front has that beautiful headlights from uh as bmw is very very famous for it's just white on white like it's just crystal clear and then the um the headlights pretty good you see the hood scoop right there up front which is functional and you walk your way to the back which is one of my favorite angles of this car i love the rear spoiler which is all carbon fiber but on its bmw it just works very very well it just seems sporty and then you work your way to the tail lights the tail lights are very very unique if you look to the side of the tail it says a bmw oled which is like yeah oled each of the tail lights are beautifully crafted and placed like that so it looks like a feather and it's very very bright it just contrasts it looks very very sick at night it just looks so sexy makes the rear end of this bmw much more interesting to look at while you pass someone in the lane on 35. so the tail lights is good i love the quad exhaust tips right here guys it's very very gorgeous um so let's walk my way into the interior you step into the bmw m4 and you just look at the cabin and you just realize it's just nice it's just basic nothing too special about this i mean you get a head of display up front which is very very info unique we all get to that more on that later but yeah just look at the interior right here sit in the, in the driver's seat you have your steering wheel which is covered in alcantara you have this beautiful blue and red stitching all around that same blue and red stitching you're gonna find on the door handle which is a strap on both sides of the car also the beautiful blue and red stitching on the seatbelt which is awesome i love that it just works very well and you also have your power shifters on the steering wheel also the steering wheel is um tilting and telescoping it, there's, there's no much to it what more would you want and then also the, you can't forget the seats the blue and red stitching on the seats which has the m badge right there also i just love it it works back to the um, moving into the instrument cluster just realize it's very plain and simple it's not a virtual cockpit like audi is on which is nice too but this just works well with the car it works with the theme of this car which is a sports car for the street it's a it's like a race car pretty much and you have a tachometer on the right speed on the left fuel gauge engine tap that's all you need to freaking know the seats are comfortable i have plenty of headroom you guys already know my height on um you go to the back seat uh, there's a roll cage in the back yeah you don't, you don't get any back seat in this car no back seats you get a roll cage i also find the back seat useful for uh, putting my camera there so the, like a camera stand which also works too i guess you know moving on all right i love the center console of this car it's very simple and basic you get a beautiful high resolution display up front you know very very basic to use you guys already know how to use that you guys are not dumb or anything like that to control it you know your famous bmw wheel of you no know, wheel of something i guess you just turn it around you just move across the menus you, you know fm radio it's very very simple to use you also have your owner's manual in there as well so moving along you get air vents um you have basic this um, instrument gauge cluster or excuse me center console stack reminds me of the 2008 BMW 328i that's what it feels like it feels dated but it just slammed that in there it just works this car has a seven speed dual clutch transmission it's very very quick shifting one unique thing I found about this car is uh, if you want to put it in park um, you after you're done about you know looking like for the last 30 minutes or so to try to find a park button thank you bmw there's no park button um so what you do to put the car in park you just let's say you're driving you come to a stop you put the car in neutral you slide on over to the right to d and you turn the car off and then you hear the sound yeah that's a, a water pump 
but uh, more on that later. So you turn the car off, the car will say P, turn it in park. Yeah, there's no park button or there's no park. And then you just start the car back up, put your foot on the brake, push park, uh, push start, and the car like burbles back to life. It's very, very aggressive. I love that. Yeah, so back to the heads up display. I love the heads up display in this car. It's, uh, it's just basic. So if you want to change the, what, what you want to see, on the stereo wheel, we have your set button, you know, mode, volume control knobs, basic features, you know, all of that. It says M1 and M2. So that's what happens. You push it in M1, that changes the mode of the exhaust. And then the instrument, the gauge cluster, oh, excuse me, the head of the display has different settings. It just says speed. When you push M2, you have your red counter up front. And then you, yep, it does that. Exhaust valves open up and then unleashes all that fury into the engine. So speaking about the engine, let's, let's take a look at the engine. So this engine is an S55 twin turbocharged inline six cylinder. Makes about 493 horsepower and over 450 pound-feet of torque. You guys already know that. Um, what, what, what makes this engine unique? Remember earlier I said about that water pump? Yeah, that water pump is for fuel injected so this is water injected excuse me this is water injected engine so how it works you go to a uh, famous Kroger or Walmart at, at your choosing you buy distilled water and you pour it in there and then you drive along the road you want more power it just sprays water into the um, into the uh, intercoolers which cools it it builds more boost cold air hot engine more power boom simple that's what it does and when you run out of water just go to Kroger, buy more water, dump it in there. That's what it does. So that engine is very, very unique to this BMW M4. And mind you, this is not a new technology. This technology goes back way in the 50s when Ford started doing this in their cars, uh, one of their race cars. So it's nice that BMW adopted that heritage and then just put that in this car and it's, it just it seems it seems to work and it's it's beautiful. All right, guys, that's the overall summary of the exterior, the interior. I know it's a very, very basic review. Um, it's getting dark. I gotta get on the road and drive this car. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna talk about the handling, braking, uh, acceleration, how well this uh, this car puts the power down. I mean, you have some six six tires, uh, Michelin tires. We've got the Pilot Sport Cup twos, 19 inch wheels, carbon fiber or carbon ceramic brakes. Yeah, I think um, I'm ready. This car has the um, engine auto engine start stop feature, which I don't really like though. Uh, it's kind of pointless where you put on a car like this, which is to the, this for you know a race car, and just put that feature in there. Oh my god, just set enough the transmission, the way it shifts, it crackles, uh, it's very, very smooth like butter. A lot of people, I have some complaints, or you know, people give this car hate for how it sounds, but in person, to me. It sounds it sounds pretty decent though for a straight six because it's really hard to make any car that's turbocharged sound good. I mean given like BMW has a straight six cylinder. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was quiet for a bit. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it's still downshifting. Holy crap. Oh. Okay, I, honestly, I was quite nervous back there. I was spinning wheels at like X amount of speed. Oh my god. Man, this Michelin Palace Sport Cup 2s, they grip really good. I mean, it's still kind of damp outside, but still, in a wet conditions, this, this car should be fine. <laughs> this car should be fine. All right, let's put this back in normal now. Oh yeah, it's so bumpy, guys. It's just insane. So what, in, in order to disable the uh, one way I found out to disable the auto start stop feature, you just slide the car back into a bump it into manual. You just fine nonetheless. But yeah, just driving this car, a lot of people like still like what kind of they know it's a BMW, but people this car turns heads. 
but yeah this car seems very very subtle because i love the way like it's just gray and it's just black wheels and wings you just you know just basically like a normal bmw but if you know what you're looking at or what you're looking for per se you'll be fine so the power is pretty good it puts the power down when it's not wet outside um when you leave the traction control on it will kick in like even though you spin you, it's a controlled spin. You don't spin to the side or the left, you know, like whatever. It just keeps you straight. All the power, the braking is good. Uh, the acceleration, it's 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 violent. Like one of those twin turbos, like kick and the power is just readily available at very very low end. Uh, like we made like 3,000 RPMs. You have like almost a, like peak boost, so to speak. Um, well, yeah, when you're making over like almost like 500 horsepower, just railroad drive. You know, it's 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 usable. Why is this car a daily? Uh, not really, unless you're like young like me, you know, you don't have any back problems, anything like that. Uh, the condition is right. You can just like tear this car, you know, up on the streets, you know. You just gotta worry about like not driving for long, long um, distances. These seats are very comfortable. I love the leather seats. Um, again, it's so bumpy though. Know? <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never been in a car like this. I feel, literally, I feel the paint on the road changing lanes. That's ridiculous, guy. It's very stiff. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a very, very stiff suspension. Um, I'm going to pop back that, that back into drive again. Um, I also love, like, whenever you let off the throttle, you get the pops and crackles on the exhaust. <laughs> it's just insane. I love it. I love it, guys. I love what I do. Um, right now, we're just driving around uh, this... Uh, around Dallas, close to the airport, uh, planes sticking off, and it just feels normal. I mean, you can drive this car on um, maybe long journeys if you're willing to um, stick out the back brutality, you're gonna serve it up yourself, you know? But besides that, it's a nice car. But you have to be super, super, like, specific in what you want. If you wanna have this car, you better be, like, so sure, like, you're gonna live with this car. I mean, it's livable, you just gotta, like, you know, make sure what you're driving on, it's a smooth road, not bumpy. But uh, that's what I think about this car, guys. Um, hopefully, I went over the general things you guys may probably already know about, but hopefully, I gave you my own opinion of what I think about this car. It's a great car, nonetheless. It's a two-door car. It's you no, know, its handling is good. All of that. I love the way it looks. It's a head turner. It's 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 sexy. It's sporty. It's aggressive enough. Um, has cool technology. It has all the mixture of all that, but yet BMW is able to bring that together in a cohesive package named m4 gts what do you think guys that's all i have for today um please browse my channel subscribe hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and as always i'll see you next i'll see you next time in the next video peace